Hi, welcome to the fourth Auction Nudge video tutorial. My name's Joe. Today I'm going to be showing you how to only display eBay items listed in a specific eBay category. So this is useful if you sell lots of different items on eBay but only want to show certain types of items on your website. Um, okay, so the setup we've got here is we've got our browser, Firefox in this example and also our text editor here. Uh, I'm using Coda. This is just a really simple um, blank web page at the moment. So if I actually open this up in our browser just to show you what's going on. Okay, so this is our blank page which reflects the HTML we've got here. And this is actually where we're going to be putting our embed code. So if we go back to Auction Nudge, click on your eBay listings. Okay, so if we type in a username, so I know these guys actually display lots of different types of items. Um, if we put the number of items to show up to 100, we can see that they these guys sell things like envelopes, um, uh, DVD uh, cases, recording sleeves, and bubble wrap, things like that. So at the moment, just by default, we're actually showing all of their items. Um, so what happens if we just want to display um, these recording sleeves, for example? So what we actually need to do is specify a category ID, and that's an eBay-specific um, category ID. Uh, and then we actually need to paste it into uh, our customize section here. So we need to click on this link, add eBay category filter. And then that gives us an extra input here. Um, there's some tool tips and a bit of extra information, um, a link to the help page here, um, just to go over what I'm talking about in this tutorial. Um, okay, so we need a category ID. So how do we get that? What we actually need to do is view the category on eBay, and then we can find out the category number or ID. So what I'm gonna do is click on the link here for the um, record sleeves. Okay, so this brings up the item. Um, and we can see that this is actually listed in music accessories and storage. So in order to just display these items on e using Auction Nudge, we actually need to specify the category ID for this category. So we're going to click on this link. Okay, so that we're actually viewing the category now. If we look up in the address bar in our browser, up here, we can see um, this is the URL or web address for this category and we can see right at the end here there's a number. This is actually the category ID and it's the same for all categories on eBay. Any category URL will have that number in the second to last segment there. So what we're going to do is copy this. We're going to go back to Auction Nudge. Okay, so we're back on our form where we generate our snippets. So we're just going to do that again. Um, I'm just going to, I went off the page, so I just need to type these details in again. Okay, so we're showing 100 items here. As I said before, we're actually viewing all of the items. So what we need to do is enter the category ID that we just copied for those record sleeves and refresh. Okay, so here we go. Listed now is just the things that this eBay member has listed in that specific category. Okay, bingo. So we can actually um, specify more than one um, eBay category to filter by. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete this for a second. Um, and I'm going to also show um, the bubble wrap. So I'm going to actually open this in a new tab. OK. 
Okay, so we're viewing the item. Um, okay, so this bubble wrap is actually listed in um, this category here. Um, what we can do is actually um, go up a couple of levels. So if we, this seller might have different lengths, um, different widths of bubble wrap, but they may want to uh, display all of the bubble wrap that they've got listed. So we can actually go up to this category here, bubble foam wrap, click on that. If we look at the web address here, we've got the ID. So by copying this, it ensures that any bubble wrap listed in a subcategory of bubble wrap, for example, different sizes and widths, they'll also get displayed. So if we go back to our auction nudge form, scroll back up. Okay, so this was the uh, category ID that we had to display those record sleeves. Um, we can actually, to display multiple category IDs, we use a colon. So enter a colon and then paste in that bubble wrap category ID. Click refresh. Now we can see that we've got listed the record sleeves uh, and also bubble wrap and nothing else. Um, so that's quite quickly um, just going and copying those category IDs. We um, can filter by category. So just quickly now we're going to go over here, copy our snippet, go back to Coda, which is our blank web page paste in our snippet that we just copied. Okay. So we can actually just see here, um, if you're interested, this is actually the information that we're passing to Auction Nudge to tell it to filter by the categories. So um, I'm just gonna save this, go back to our browser and open up our demo page, refresh this, and there you go. These are our um, items and we're only viewing bubble wrap and record sleeves. If we go back to Coda uh, and actually just delete this number and the colon, which was the uh, record sleeve um, category ID and save that again. Just refresh the page. There you go, we're just viewing bubble wrap. So that's how easy it is, um, nice and simple. The, uh, the snippet, code snippet builder here is really, um, self-explanatory and there's also tool tips so you can change the um, layout and things like that and um, yeah just have a play really so um, I hope that's of some sense I hope that's of some help and uh, thanks for using auction nudge